John Ryder, thanks for joining us in the immediate aftermath of your defeat to Canelo Alvarez. We won't keep you too long because obviously your nose is in a bit of a bit of a bad way. Um, winning the second round, it must have been very hard to breathe after that. Yeah, I think after all these years of boxing, it's the um, first half I broke my nose. Uh, new experience, got back to the corner, towel in my face, just couldn't breathe and blood down the back of my throat. It was a new experience, but obviously I got a good calm in the corner, um, calmed me down. Um, and then after that, it was just hard to sit down and get my breathing. So it was, uh, just standing up throughout the rounds. And uh, yeah, like I say, new experience. I felt like I won the first two rounds quite well. Uh, I was boxing sense of being in. Just, just got careless the last second and uh, leant forward and, and took that big uppercut. Let's uh, move forward a couple of rounds. Round number five, you went down. When you did go down, you seemed to have all your faculties and senses intact. You was composed and you was waiting for the count. Clear head at that point? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I saw the jab. I went to see the jump, just didn't see the backhand coming. Um, and I think that, like, just yeah, went back, the, the rope weren't there. Um, and yeah, first half went down as well. So I obviously went to spring break up. Tony was saying, just just wait, wait. And, uh, so yeah, new experience, new experience gained. Um, come here to Mexico, great, great to be part of this big event. And uh, yeah, so it's not the end for sure. Showed a hell of a lot of heart. I mean, could have easily have gone out in the fifth what was going through your mind when you was on the canvas it's funny I got knocked down and I thought like, all these Nigel Ben fight fights I've seen over the years I think how would Nigel Ben come back now and he's come back like having a tear up so I thought you're not going to go out like that you're going to come back like you do what, do what Nigel Ben does uh, obviously I didn't because he'd have probably got him out of there but uh, yeah I had a go uh, and had some good exchanges after that uh, but ultimately it was, hard to, it was hard to get the breathing. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big in for the nose, out for the mouth kind of person. Uh, yeah, just felt like I was throwing punches on my breath for a long time. Just how good is Canelo Alvarez now? You've shared 12 rounds with him. Uh, listen, I, I always thought he was very good, but he's good. He sets traps. He's he's there. He's even when he's even when you think you're having success, in which I was the first couple of rounds. You, you, you can see that he's downloading information to, to stick it on in later rounds and set the traps. Well, after that, he did win some rounds, for sure. Did you feel confidence going on after sort of six and seven, after you've rode the storm? Yeah, I feel like I've probably done the nose, felt sorry for myself for a couple, and then uh, just, just got back into it. And, uh, felt like he was probably starting to tire. It wasn't thought at a massive higher pace. And obviously, it was uh, a bit, bit easier for me to get in there and throw some more shots, but uh, obviously, with the caution of... I got caught again on the nose with an uppercut a, a bit later on, and I just went a bit cautious then but then he got back into it again and just kept going one sort of tactical question I will ask it seemed in the first two or three rounds there was a reluctancy maybe to, to throw the jab somewhat was that tactical was it just you couldn't establish it at that point yeah it's just more just to be counter off the off his shots catch and counter uh, he obviously he doesn't throw much early rounds so I had to lead off at times but yeah I feel like the first two rounds I thought I won him pretty well uh, yeah unfortunately just took my off the ball the last second of the round and got caught with a, a massive shot and after going 12 rounds with Canelo, you've obviously had the experience before for fighting for a world title. Third time lucky, do you feel like this can give you more confidence to go on and get it? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've gone in against one of the best now. Uh, say, hell, hell my own. But uh, yeah, it was, it was tough. Like, obviously, the nose was not ideal. Uh, good fight, but uh, I feel like I've, I've got more in me. Yeah, definitely you have, John. Uh, you've done yourself proud, you've done your country proud, and we can't wait to see John Ryder back in there on the third assault to a world title. Well done, mate, you should be proud. Thank you.